The Mukaddima, written by the Arab historian and philosopher Ibn Khaldun in the 14th century, is a seminal work in the fields of history and sociology. Here are five key takeaways from this important book, The Science of History. Ibn Khaldun is often credited with being the founder of the science of history. In the Mukaddima, he laid out a systematic approach to understanding the development of human societies over time. He argued that history should be studied scientifically, using empirical evidence and careful analysis to understand the forces that shape human societies. The Role of Geography Ibn Khaldun recognized the importance of geography in shaping human societies. He argued that the physical environment, including factors such as climate, topography, and access to resources, has a significant impact on the development of societies. He also discussed the ways in which human societies interact with their physical environment, and how these interactions can lead to social and cultural changes. The Importance of Social Cohesion Ibn Khaldun emphasized the importance of social cohesion in the development of human societies. He argued that strong social bonds, including family ties, tribal affiliations, and religious beliefs, are essential for building stable and prosperous societies. He also discussed the ways in which social cohesion can break down, leading to social and political instability. The Cycle of Civilizations One of Ibn Khaldun's most famous ideas is the concept of the cycle of civilizations. He argued that human societies tend to follow a predictable pattern of growth and decline, in which a new civilization arises, grows and flourishes, and eventually declines and falls. He attributed this pattern to the rise and fall of social cohesion, which he saw as a key factor in the success or failure of civilizations. The Importance of Education Ibn Khaldun emphasized the importance of education in the development of human societies. He argued that education is essential for building strong and prosperous societies, and that it is the responsibility of the state to provide education to its citizens. He also discussed the ways in which education can promote social and cultural development, and how it can contribute to the overall progress of human civilization.